In this video, we will set up Google Search Console in WordPress website. So we will install SiteKit plugin by Google that integrate Google Analytics, Google Search Console, AdSense and PageSpeed Insights in one dashboard. So let's go to WordPress dashboard. So from our dashboard, we will go to the plugin section. And from here, we will add our plugin. We will search for plugin Google SiteKit and this is our plugin so so we will install this plugin now our plugin has been installed and now we will activate our plugin now this plugin is showing us congratulations the sidekit plugin is now activated now we will go to the start setup now from here we will go down and click the checkbox connect google analytics as part of your setup and in this way you can uh, easily integrate your google analytics account into your wordpress website now we will also check this data and now we will sign in with google so from here uh, this plugin will forward us to our gmail account so we will select our gmail account so from here we will go to the continue section and now we will click on verify now we are at the second step so here sidekit will turn on matrix in our dashboard of website so we will allow it and now at the third step um, we will initiate the setup and now at fourth step um, this plugin will set up Google Analytics and here we will click next and now we are back to the WordPress dashboard and from here we will select our Google account and here we will set up a new account and here we will type the property name URL and the country code and the time zone and now we will press on create an account and from here we will go to the again choose an account and from here you will go to the continue and now we are at the dashboard of Google Analytics and from here we will select our region so and we will accept all the terms and uh, and now we will go to the I accept a sidekit plugin has installed the analytics now we will go back to dashboard congratulations your website is now added in Google search console and it is now integrated with services like Google analytics search console and page speed insights so now we will click OK and now search console and analytics are gathering data it can take up to 72 hours so first we will see traffic so for traffic we will go down and uh, you can go here so you will just right click and open link in a new tab and from here you will divert it to the Google search console now we are at the google search console dashboard so first the overview section provide analytics about whole website data and its results and the second performance tab will show you clicks impressions average click through rate average positions and down there the other parts will show you the queries pages countries devices search appearance and dates and the third part you can inspect your website URL for example this is our website URL and we are inspecting and this URL is not on Google so we will go there and request indexing now we have indexing requested as it is showing us uh, we did not submit any sitemap so first we will go so you can take your sitemap 
by just uh, installing a Yoast plugin. So we have already installed Yoast uh, SEO plugin. So we will go down and uh, from here we will select go to settings. And from there add the site features we will go down. And we can view our XML sitemap. So we will just copy over last part of our URL and we will come back in our search console dashboard here at indexing tab we will go to the sitemap and here we will enter our sitemap now we have uh, successfully submitted our sitemap and from here in indexing you can check your um, page indexing and as we covered the sitemap section and uh, and at removal section you can remove any content or url from google search console and at experience section you, uh, you can find uh, results related to page experience and uh, core web vitals at, such as website speed on mobile and desktop here at security and manual action you can check your website uh, security issues so now we will go to the legal tools and reports so we will cover web tools in a future videos it at link section it will show you the links from other website and uh, this is the setting section and here you can see the website ownership user information and other crawl stats so that was all about the google search console and now we will go to the content section we will just right click and open in a new link and from sitekit dashboard now we are at the google analytics it will show us the website data related to real time views acquisition overview and engagement monetization and other user settings so that's all about the search console and analytics setup in your website so stay connected for the future videos.